This is the solution to written homework 54. Okay, so a sign chart. Okay, so the first step is to find the natural domain. Natural. Well, uh, f is a polynomial, so the natural domain is all x. The next step is to zero and simplify. However, conveniently, that's already done for us. So it's already done. Construct the chart. Okay, so then <coughs> uh, now we want to solve. Uh, so the solutions to that equation are negative two, positive one, and three. chart. So we found three such fence posts. Negative three, uh, zero, two, four. How about those? Okay, now we can take these uh, green test point values and we can plug them into the left hand side of that equation. Negative three is always negative. And then if we plug this negative 3 into there, that's negative. Plug it into there, that's going to be negative squared. And then negative 3 minus 3 is still negative. So lots of negatives there. Uh, then this will be negative. And then plug in 0, that would be positive. Plug in 0, that would be negative squared. And then plug in 0, that would be negative negative and then plug in 2 that'd be positive plug in 2 that'd be positive squared and then plug in 2 that'd be negative that would be negative plug in 4 that would be positive plug in 4 that would be positive squared plug in 4 that would be positive and then the overall sign in each region is uh, so negative times negative is positive, negative squared is still positive, times negative, that's negative. Negative times positive is negative, that's positive, so it's still negative, and then times negative, that's positive. <coughs> negative times positive is negative, positive squared is still negative, times negative is positive. And then negative. Okay, so the chart is negative, and then positive, and then positive, and then negative. Okay. So, <clears throat> as x goes to the left, we can see that the output is negative, so negative. To the right, x goes to the right, uh, the output is negative. If 
for that reason the degree parity must be even. The sign, the sign of the leading coefficient must be negative. The number of zeros is 3. So now let's sketch. So the zeros are negative 2, 1, and 3. Okay. <clears throat> now we know it has to start it has to end down here and start over here so we have to go through these <clears throat> and we know it has to be negative and then positive so the fact that it's going to be negative and then positive means that this one has to be a cross so we have to cross that one and then it's going to come down to this zero and it's have to, gonna have to continue to be positive so positive and then it's going to have to come down to the last zero and cross. So that's what it looks like. And the number of turning points is one, two, three. Uh, we have to, we're supposed to label all these. So this is a zero, that's a zero, and that's a zero. And then here's a turning point, that's a turning point, and that's a turning point. So there are three turning points.